Let's try this one more time. Ladies and gentlemen, hanging out with Cedars! Give me a hell yeah! Hell yeah! <laughs> hell yeah. Thank you guys for, for, uh, for kicking it with me today. If you could, could you please go around the room and properly introduce yourself, uh, let us know whereabouts in the world you are, and plug or promote anything you would like. Uh, my name is Sandy Kennedy. Caleb Perez. What's up, Chris Santos? Uh, my name is Chris Rodriguez, and... You should go to cedars.band because that's where everything's at. Yes, um, we're in New Braunfels, Texas, which is a... <laughs> it's, a it's a German town. It's a conservative stronghold, in a, <laughs> in, unfortunately, in a, uh, the Hill Country. So we're kind of like almost South Texas, not far from San Antonio. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, you guys, yeah. you guys are. Looks like you're in a badass studio right now. Can you plug this? This is our studio. Yeah. yeah. This is your guys' studio. Yeah. Yes. Dude, it, it looks amazing. Thank I almost you. want like a tour later when we're done. If you could just do one of these or something, it looks great. It's about. It's called Green Records. It's spelled G R U E N E Records uh, dot com. It's spelled that way because of the German influence. There's a pretty famous little town here, area here it's called Green. It's about 3,200 square feet of recording space. It's a or, or a studio. We do. Traditional recording, but we also we do video. We do video, yeah. And, yeah. As you can see, the nice professional lights have just let us up. <laughs> Hell yeah! So you could knock out anything in there. What uh, what is the track Claymore specifically about? Um, it is a commentary on like how we get put in these roles. A lot of times, you know, growing up, we get handed these like, here's what you're supposed to want. You know, here's how you're supposed to show up. Uh, woman, man, here's how you're supposed to show up. And then all of a sudden, you you know, you do the thing and you, you go through the motions and you you wake up dead uh, <laughs> because you start kill, you start killing parts of yourself off to maintain relationship. So, like, there's these pieces of us that get denied. Um, and, and that's I mean, we're wired to, to be connected as human beings. And so it's kind of a difficult like, yeah, that can be a difficult space. I got gotcha. you. Let's check it out. Claymore's from Cedars. Do you, do you guys do all your own audio production yourself in the studio? Who's 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 like the leader of like I'm the main guy that does all the production, like the Pro Tools tricks and all that stuff. So the main guy is me and Hell uh, yeah. Drew, who is that dead guy on screen right now? Hey Drew. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he, we engineer everything. Um, he is the head. In, he's the chief engineer of the studio at large. Um, so we do all the, the, we bring some engineers in sometimes to help, like Will's going to help mm -hmm, all of our new mm -hmm. but, um, we're mixing all of it. We're mastering it. I know that's a no, no, you're not supposed to master in the same place you mix, but that's kind of bullshit. So. Hey, whoops. I'm new here. Let me pause hey. that. So that Hi. won't happen again. Uh, <laughs> you guys have really good Spotify numbers. What, is there any tips you could give a local band that maybe only has like a hundred monthly listeners? Like what are some social media tricks that you guys could tell that, that help boost numbers and get more fans? I think one of the most important things, one of the things that's responsible for those numbers for us is getting on the right playlists. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because people aren't out there, you know, searching for us, but they might be searching for electronic rock or they might be searching yeah. for, you know, I don't know, whatever we are. Yeah. <laughs> so, I I yeah. think the main idea is you want to figure out the best way to be stumbled upon, if that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Because no one's going to like Google a band they don't know about. Right. You know? So you got to find a way to connect to the bands people are Googling about. Or and something. also finding bands that you like or that kind of fit your vibe or your sound and finding yeah. out what playlists are they on or can I, you know, reach out to them or mm. uh, reach out directly to you. I mean, I got a list of uh, curators that I, I paid to get and just kind of went through and like, it's it's a lot of work, but you are looking at what's on their playlists, who are they, who else who else are they, who would you be in company with and would it make sense? And te know? Technical tip too, 
uh, Spotify, the algorithms, they love singles. So yeah, I don't know for what it's worth. If you have singles, put them out because that's what the algorithm really latches on to. So um, I don't know. I mean, all those little things kind of help, but you really just got to push yourself and put your stuff out there. Send the emails, talk to the right people. Uh, it's all work. <laughs> It's yes. worth the work, though. It's worth the work. So we're gonna play the uh, the acoustic version of Circles next. Are you guys? Do you guys normally do acoustic sets, or is this something that you kind of just one off to to try and experiment? No. Uh, yeah, I think our our uh, our social media. The, the some people that help us out with social media too. We're like, hey, you guys should do acoustic videos. And I think at first we were like, no, thanks. <laughs> uh, Multiple times we were like, no, yeah, thanks. yeah. Just because I mean, you listen to our stuff, it's like. How do we do it? Acoustic? Yeah, translating "Give Up the Ghost" to acoustic. But we did it. But we did it, and, and it, it will be coming. And out, it yeah. sounds fucking great. Yeah. Um. So no, we normally don't. It was fun to do, and we might do it again. But one of the things about doing these is these songs are written on. Drew and I might sit down at the piano, or it may literally be an acoustic guitar or a, a bass that's just starting the bones of the song. So if they can't stand up, I'll strip mm -hmm. down. Probably not a good song anyway. Yeah. So I think like, it, it yeah. stemmed from Lost at Sea because yeah. Lost at Sea started with her and Drew at a piano and then it grew into whatever it is now. So stripping that back down was super easy because it, that's we how did it an acoustic started. Version yeah. Of that, yeah. How long how long have you guys been together for? Um seven. So Six, years? So seven. This iteration, including Caleb, like about a year and a half now, right? Yeah. yeah. Ish. But well, like, Caleb, we kind of were writing as four of us um six years or so yeah, yeah. in Seven comparison years. i'm pretty new yeah it's <laughs> been around for a long time but he's been our longest like standing drummer member of our band i mean yeah. we, went, yeah. we went through a number of different like just i don't know session drummers i guess yeah. or hired yeah. guns that know? hasn't spontaneously combusted <laughs> <laughs> no but yeah he's this iteration with everybody drummer included it's it's been about a year and a half what's what specifically made 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 you different than the session drummers was there like a type of fill or pattern that you could play just like that <laughs> that they had they struggled with it's the vibe man it's, the, yeah. it's like it's one of those things you know you we can play with all these drummers all day long but it's like hey do you where are you where's your mindset you know where, where are you kind of thing and it just felt right and vibed, you know? So we, we had multiple gigs with Caleb before it was like, hey, you know, join our band. It was just like, hey, you know, um, just come play. And we kept playing gigs and it kept clicking. So, you know, just that's how it worked. Now he can't get away. Enter Drew. Yeah, this is Drew. <laughs> What's up, Drew? The main How's man. It going? <laughs> uh, it's going well, sir. If, if there's anything that you'd like to plug or promote, maybe you have like a side business or anything, now would be the time to plug or promote it, Drew. We're, you're sitting in yeah, it. This, sitting this in is it. our side business. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. This is the main work he does. Um, here, all you know, not just our stuff, but working on other. Like we work with a lot of other bands. Mm -hmm. um, cool. To pay rent, to pay, to keep the lights on. Yep. It's also like it's kind of our way of kind of trying to give back. You know, like hey, we could try to get record you. You know, and yeah. uh, there's a lot of projects mm -hmm. where you know we just work on, and it's like hey, we just want to make we just want to make a project happen. So. It's not um, work if you're having fun, so. <laughs> well, is, then there are days that still work. <laughs> <laughs> this is the acoustic version of Circles. Oh my God. Now, to me, it has like a little bit of like, almost like a country flair on it. Uh, really? Uh, like a little bit, just a little yeah. bit, like in the way the melodies and the harmonies going right there and with the acoustic guitar is, I've not heard the, the electric version. Is the electric yeah. version very completely different? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Check it out. It's on Spotify. It's all, It's uh. Yeah. There's a like a whatever official video that you can hear a piece of it. Uh, yeah. Oh, there you go. That's there you go. Spotify will work. Um. Should be on our YouTube channel. Which I laugh. There it is. Um. I think that's it. Yeah. That's yeah. it. It's not a video. It's, it's just, just a graphic. Yeah. That's cool. The poll I was referring to a minute ago is um when we do these shows we do them four times a week and we interview a lot of people but when the interviewed people automatically go on this poll right here. But uh, other, otherwise, and we'll get to that in a second, uh, we review bands of any genre from anywhere in the entire world. And if chat likes them a lot, they type yay. And if a band gets a whole bunch of yays, we add them to this poll and then they get to vote who gets uh, one more song. So normally we're playing a lot of your guys' song because you're our guest. But uh, these other artists have only gotten one song played today. And uh, if they end up winning, we're gonna play another one of theirs and they go into what we call the tournament. The Tournament of Champions. Oh, That's badass. Is there blood? 
There <laughs> absolutely is blood. No, there's no blood, yes. but there should be. <laughs> um, okay, We're, we've reached the point where if you guys are down, I want to review some bands with you. A lot of times I don't know what they sound like ahead of time. You let me know if you're feeling it or not. And oh. I want to do some trivia. Let's have some fun. Oh. I'm, so, so I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play a song and just let me know what you think about it. But while it's playing, discuss amongst your guys self what is your strongest knowledge in either film or TV. Star Wars, The Simpsons, Harry Potter could be anything. But you, you guys can answer as a team. Just what is your strongest knowledge? I'll give you a second to discuss while I cue up a song real quick. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna go with sideways gold. I have no <laughs> idea. Did you pick one? Yeah, Not yet. No. Well, we're okay. still about you, you got plenty of time. Yeah. You get time. Who sings the who's who sings that song you could put you could be my corona and lime? It kind of sounds like them mixed with mod sun to me. Mm. Uh, yeah. I dig it. Not bad, right? It's kinda cool. It's good. Sideways, let's put them in. Sideways, Sandy. When you were when you were in, let's say, high school, and you're you're practicing in the car, working on your vocals, what CD were you jamming to uh, perfect perfect the pipes? PJ Harvey. So yeah, probably PJ Harvey. <laughs> but I was also listening to it just a ton of uh, in high school to a ton of like Rollins Band or mm. uh, Fugazi to yeah. Mm-hmm. For for like because I played bass so like that was like heavy awesome. heavy kind of like hardcore yeah. punk influences and stuff. Yeah, some yeah. I think we all probably have those influences. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's just go around. Let's let's just go around. Name name some of your other guys' influences as well. Shoot, in high school, I was listening to anything from like Twisted Sister to Motley Crue to Anti Flag. Uh, Tupac, Shakur, um, all of it, all of it, all the way to like Meshuga. So and some Santana. I see, I see yeah, Santana. Santana. <laughs> Mute Math. I mean, I, I, oh, you I know Mute Math? Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We love Mute Math. Yeah. So I mean, there was a whole lot of stuff I was listening to then. I was trying to learn music, so it, nothing was out of bounds at that point, except country. I don't like country. I have, I have a cool Mute Math story, but I'll tell it in a little bit after you guys. Uh, yeah, it's sweet. Uh, uh, Darren King is like a drum god to us. I think uh, <laughs> so. Um, human beat machine yeah i think my i think my biggest influence well it's hard to say man i listen to, to yeah. yeah the foo fighters uh were huge in my cool. in high school uh i do remember like i i i uh a lot of my classmates always listen to stuff like boys to men mariah carey bone thugs and harmony tupac biggie all those mm-hmm. so we li- i listened to all that but when i got in my own car it was a lot foo fighters uh 80s classic rock, um, all the way back to like Del Shannon type stuff. <laughs> yeah. Because my dad uh, used to work on, or still does work on cars, and he owns 55 Bel Air and 66 Chevelle. So all that music is an influence on me too. Yeah. Um, but I'd say the biggest is Foo Fighters, like hands down. Cool. Cool. Yeah. I grew up, I listened to a, a eclectic bunch of music, but in high school was primarily Pantera. Corn, nice. um, a lot of Machine Head, um, you know, and it, yeah, I have a lot of influences, but those are some of the big ones in high school, and and then post high school, Mute Math was definitely one of my yeah. biggest influences. Okay, what about you? Yeah. So I went to like a Christian private school when I was younger. Caleb's so. also a lot younger than us too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I'm, about, I'm about to name bands. About ten, that hours way, younger, ten, I, ten years younger. Ten hours younger. Ten hours. Ten hours. I'm listening to all like the Christian, the youth, Christian youth group bands from like Switchfoot, Thunder Oath, and I know those, all, all that stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Dude, Switchfoot was like yeah. Switchfoot was good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. Two, <laughs> two really quick, two really quick stories. Uh, regarding one regarding Pantera, Pantera. Uh, I saw Damage Plan play live like two weeks before before the disaster happened um, with uh, Vinny and Dimebag. Um, but my mute mask story. Uh, so I saw I had tickets to see Circus Revive. This was got to be fifteen years ago, and um, they played two nights in a row, a Friday and a Saturday at the small hole in the wall, and they were. Uh, there was like a hundred people there. Mute Math opens up. I've never ever heard of them. They stole the show. Circus Survive is like my favorite band. They stole the show. I bought the album, hung out with the band the, like the rest of the night. By the next day, I had almost learned every single lyric 
to the yeah. whole album by the time they were on stage the next night. That's how much Mute Math and that little like Nintendo weird thingy that Paul sure. Mooney touches. Oh yeah, the uh, the Atari is what he calls it. When, that thing, uh, that thing's wild. When that first album came out, I went. So this is just a funny story because it's weird. When that first album went out, me and a, bu- a bunch of buddies of mine went to Stubbs Barbecue in Austin to go see Mute Math, um, and. Uh, it was there. I think they were fairly big at that. Like by then, that first album had been made a, maybe a year out. Uh, I think Chaos had just came out as their, their fifth or sixth single, whenever that was. Anyway, we go into Stubbs and we walk into that first thing. I don't know. I know I told Drew this. And we walk in and the bar. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God, that's fucking James Hetfield. He goes, I dare you to go buy him a beer. It's like, what do you mean you dare me to go buy him a beer? <laughs> Fine, I'm going to go buy Je- James Hetfield a beer. So I walk up to the bar. I bomb me and my friends around and I say, whatever he's having too. And he just does this thing where he goes, thanks, man. And I just walk off. I didn't say a word to James Hetfield after that. Because I didn't want to be like, oh my God. You know what? He mentions it in every interview. Yeah, maybe he does. So you're at a barbecue restaurant to see Mute Math. And there's James just chilling. (laughs) And James Hetfield's in the bar that just sitting like there. That sounds like some sort of dream you need to talk to your therapist about. No, it's not, well, it definitely wasn't a dream, but yeah. <laughs> it's, it's Austin. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's Austin. Yeah. But that's the thing is you don't want to walk up to James Hetfield and be like, oh my God, James Hetfield. Maybe he loves that. Did, he, did he catch the show or was he there just to kind of eat and then get out of there? I mean, I think, I don't know how, re- back 20 years ago, I think he was a pretty regular in Austin. So I don't know. He might have been there to watch Meet Math. I doubt it. <laughs> He might have just been there to drink. I have no clue. It's <laughs> crazy. Um, what is the trivia that you guys decided? Oh, what do we know the most about? Oh, I think we were going with Star Wars. Sure. Star Wars? He knows the Star, most. Wars? Star Wars? Okay. Star Give me a second on Star Wars. This is Dead Days with Heartless. What do you guys think? Dead Days, Heartless. Uh, that, yeah, 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 yeah. That opening. Like that's a yeah. That's like Spirit Box. That's like that opening spirit. box means bullet for my Valentine. Yeah, that opening yeah. riff yeah, fucking like slaps. Is that the word? <laughs> I think that's it. That's the word. <laughs> <laughs> That'll work. Your Star Wars trivia is related to the Empire Strikes Back. Here we go. Who is the director of the Empire Strikes Back? It's just like just that easy. Who is the director? It is not George Lucas, so don't guess George. Emilio Estevez. Isn't it Ivan something? So repeat that, I'm sorry? Isn't it Ivan something? You are close. It does start with an I. Yeah, it's, uh, fuck, I don't remember his name. Come on, what? Well, come on, Ron. I think you ask me stuff about Star Wars, not the fucking director <laughs> of Star Wars. Can I get a lore-related question? <laughs> Tatooine. Uh... <laughs> oh, I- I- that is officially a stump. That is a stump. We'll see if Chad can get it um, while they guess, and we'll give them the spin. What is what is a a Cedar song that we have not played yet that we absolutely have to hear? What do you want? Formerly known. No, no. funeral dress because we're about to shoot a video for it. Well, that. formerly known has a great video. Oh yeah, formerly known does have a good video. a great video. video. Go to our YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, don't know, I feel like funeral dress oh, is cool. Good cool. numbers. Yeah, we do have some good numbers. Yeah. We're going to be at South by Southwest tomorrow. Yeah. Boom. Oh, hell yeah. That's a great video. And we have a new video coming out tomorrow. That's my favorite video. Awesome. <laughs> did, uh, are, you guys are playing South by Southwest. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did, did, uh, did you get hit up directly from Mike or just or from his team? Because we, we've actually got a verbal commitment from Mike who runs that to uh, come on the show, but we haven't, oh, cool. we haven't finalized no, it's, it. It's a team. Somebody on... The, the conglomeration of yeah. South by the bigness that it is. <laughs> it is big. There's got to be like 200 yeah. people playing it. It's, it's awesome. If I was any closer, I would definitely go for sure. That's wild. Yeah, there's a lot happening. It's also what two years since it actually mm-hmm. happened. Yeah. This is a big South by so mm-hmm. really big. This is formally known. Guys, if you're feeling Cedar's music, please, please, please slap that subscribe button and hit the bell just like I'm doing. So I never ever miss anything. It's a quick observation. Cameron, I noticed that your drum kit is a, is kind of a small kit. Is that normally the size you play with? Or is that specifically just for this video? Uh, that's a kit I use a lot for pretty much. It depends on the, the, the venue we're playing at just because of space constraints. But that's kind of like my most used. It's just pretty standard sizes, but. It looks tiny out in the back. Yeah, I was gonna say, we, <laughs> We'll probably try and get a bigger drum set for other videos. Yeah. Tiny kid, but big sound. I like it. Hell yeah, I like how like dominant and, and big the synth layers are. 
They're yeah. huge yeah. sounding in that song. Guys, we're gonna give you a redemption Star Wars question. <laughs> Chrissy, you can pick the next song once this interview is over. Go ahead and just throw a link in the chat and we'll play it. Um, Chrissy, by the way, I believe is here specifically for you guys. She said hi, Cedars, as soon as she popped in. I don't know if you know, Chrissy, but uh, your, your redemption question is... At one point in the same movie, uh, I believe it's... Em what is it? Empire Strikes Back? Is that where we're on? Yeah, Empire Strikes Back. Uh, Princess Leia is yelling at Han Solo, and she says, I'd rather kiss instead of you what does what would she rather kiss who or what than than han solo she says yeah. something no i'm just probably like a bantha or like uh no she calls it that same argument she calls it remember the nerf her yeah she was a scrub don't her. think too much don't think too much this is an easy one luke <laughs> no i don't know kiss. Jabba. jabba oh no no it's not jabba oh, a Wookiee. A Wookiee is correct! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well done. <laughs> A Wookiee is correct. And it's going to land on pick the next song. So I'm going to ask you, ask you guys this. Who is a band that you've been playing, maybe you play shows with, that we need to know about that's still a local band? Uh, shout out. Page Nine? Yeah. yeah. Page Nine? Totally. There's a band from uh, Dallas-Fort Worth called Page Nine. Yeah. Um, that uh, we play with quite often when we go up there. Uh, and we got another gig with Left Handed Knives. They're from Corpus Christi, yeah. Texas. Yeah. But I, I would definitely say Page Nine. Uh, handsome. I think there's Handsome. Handsome's on there somewhere. Phil wrote this riff, and it's just such a good riff in this song. This needs to be one of a wrestler's opener. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. yeah. Should have wrestling trivia. Watch, like, oh, like wrestling this. trivia. Wrestling trivia would have been great. Wrestling, you say, huh? Oh. Wrestling, you say. <laughs> It's oh, yeah. funny. It's funny you bring up wrestling. I see you in the background. It's funny you bring up wrestling because the entire time we've been doing this interview, if you look through the window back behind you, there's something weird behind you. You could you got to turn around to see it though. Like it's behind oh, you, Sandy. Turn around. Oh. It doesn't matter. It doesn't find you. <laughs> it's time to play some more music right now. I see you know that down 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 and ow. That little riff right there. Hell yeah! Well done, uh, guys. I think we have time for one more. One more from you. Uh, what's the final song you want to send us out on? No, no, no. I was gonna say we got we got a brand new video coming out tomorrow. tomorrow. Tonight at midnight. It'll Tonight at midnight, midnight yeah. called "Forgive Up the Ghosts." Uh, yeah, play that one. That's a good one. This is one of my favorite songs to play live. Yeah, so. me too. It's <laughs> a fun. It's fun. Get to go ham. Is, is there <laughs> is there a particular song that you guys play in the set that's just way harder to play than the other ones? Not saying it, that you're not good at playing it live, but it just one's a little bit more intricate. Yeah, for me, funeral dress. It's, mm. it's hard for me. I have to switch a few different effects for that one, but it's a lot of fucking fun. That's one of my favorites. Uh, Mockingbirds is, is hard. Oh, I think I think it's formally for me just because the drum thing at the end is so formally. Yeah, the yeah. drums are crazy. Yeah, at the end of that song, mm. that was hard vocally too. Really hard. Yeah, I think we have one called the club that's a little harder for me to play because <laughs> most of our songs have a lot of like synth layers and you know like stuff to kind of cushion me and surround me, and that one's just pretty raw. It's just guitars and drums and bass, uh, but it's also a lot of fun to do. Um. Probably, fu oh, probably funeral dress for me. Um, I think the the <laughs> solo is a little weird because I have to switch scales halfway through, and if I'm not paying attention, I, I yeah, it's that that weird scale switch. It's, it starts in the minor pentatonic, but then it gets a little weird, uh, and so <laughs> if I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. I'll miss it for sure. <laughs> Will you guys know right away if he misses it? You're just looking and be like, hey, yo. Hey, yo, yeah. what the for fuck? Sure. We almost have to train ourselves to not look at each other. <laughs> <laughs> he missed it again. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> I need one of those buttons to press. <laughs> <laughs> you just hit, yeah, you hit the, what well, you just look at him and go, mm, not, no, nah, that was wrong. <laughs> Give up the ghost. Yeah, it's a long oh, intro. Just wait gotcha. for it.
and you said earlier this one is getting the acoustic treatment also yes. it is yeah do we have a timetable for that release that is or of april early april yeah uh it's like yeah. that second week of april it's a it's a, that that is my favorite transition i think we've ever done the acoustic version I, and i'm talking like we've all been playing music together for a long time cedar seven years the three of us and this guy i've been playing together i've been playing with him for 20 fucking years these three I've been playing with for 10 years, probably a little bit more. The acoustic version of Give Up the Ghost is my favorite like transition from something that we've done to an acoustic song. Yeah. It's yeah. great. Second week of April. We look forward to it. Uh, I'm going to leave you guys with this final question. After uh, the South by Southwest, um, what what is going on the rest of the year for you? Uh, is there any tour stuff that you can tell us about? Any other tr uh, releases? Anything. Yeah. Cedars.band slash shows. Cedars.band, <laughs> yep, has all the stuff. Uh, and, uh, at Cedars the Band is like our other Instagram and uh, social media stuff. But we are we're working on a new record. Um, we're going to have a, some more singles out this year. Um, it's heavier. <laughs> this record <laughs> is heavier, which I'm pretty excited about. Excellent. We're starting, Excellent. starting to shoot um, another pretty elaborate video um, in April. And we're touring. So... All of the things are happening. I'm not quite sure how we're going to do all of it. <laughs> we don't know either. But we'll just, we're going to figure it out as we go. But we'll be we'll, we'll be playing a lot of dates out in the world, and we would love to um, meet anybody and everybody For that sure. wants to come to a show. Cool. Uh, yeah, we'll, yeah. I, I don't know if you guys can tell us the release release date on the on the album, but can we can we know maybe fall time, summertime? Can we know any so, of that info? We are we are not allowed to give any <laughs> release date yet, but um, I think we'll probably have another single, at least another single out. I think three more singles this year, mm -hmm. so they're they're going to come pretty quick. Uh, cool. That will all be on the album. But we have a lot of videos that we're working on. Yeah, now, there's so a, just a bunch of stuff. We're, we're not going to keep you waiting with Let's nothing. See, we got stuff. Next single. <laughs> uh, April ish. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. There'll be there'll be a single maybe end of April beginning of May. That'll be the next um, release music wise excellent well safe travels to you guys for uh yeah. for the festival and uh the, the tour Thank coming you. up i appreciate you so much for doing this and hanging out with me for a little while and uh <laughs> i'm glad i was able to stump you one time on star yeah. wars <laughs> <laughs> but this is a lot of fun i appreciate it. you guys stay safe out there and please don't be strangers uh when when the new music comes out please feed it to me we'll be able to show everybody whatever we can do to help thank you guys cedars everybody hell yeah hell yeah <laughs> you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much. Thank you.